chip, a hexa-core CPU as well, but this model and all the models have four gigs of RAM, so pretty cool. I like that. You know, I like the addition, but the weird thing is all the iPhone 11 models, including the Pro and the Pro Max, as far as we know, have four gigs of RAM, so I don't really know. That's kind of a weird thing, but let's go ahead and run the speed comparison. I'll go ahead and open up some apps, kind of show you guys, you know, which one is faster. I have almost identically the same apps on both, so let's go and run that speed comparison. Okay, so we got all of the basically the same apps. Let me go ahead and clear out everything in the background on both phones. As you can see, the iPhone 11 is clear. Now that all the apps are clear, let's go ahead and bust them open. Let's do Facebook, three, two, one. And as expected, the iPhone 11 did open that one up faster. Netflix, three, two, one. And it was almost identical. One thing I will tell you though is right off the bat, there seems to be less wobbliness on the iPhone 11. On the iPhone XR, uh, it's almost exactly the same actually. Twitter, three, two, one. And actually the iPhone XR opened that one up faster. It's kind of weird, I wasn't expecting that. Quizlet, three, two, one. And again, the iPhone XR opened that one up faster and all these apps are updated to the most recent versions on both devices. Dropbox, three, two, one. And again, the iPhone XR was faster there. That's really weird. That seems to be more of the cases right now, but it's kind of too early to tell. So, Bofa, three, two, one. Okay, the iPhone 11 did open this one up faster, I'm happy to say, and by a noticeable amount too, as you guys saw, I mean, that was pretty big of a difference. Let's do thank you, three, two, one. As you can tell right off the bat, iPhone 11 kind of getting into that one fast and you I mean almost like way faster I mean that's a big difference in my opinion now this is not even that big of a game it's not graphically intensive as you guys can tell but even for a game like this I mean that's kind of interesting I wasn't expecting that let's do snake versus blocks three two one And you guys can tell, I mean, it's a pretty apparent difference. And it seems to be now the case that they're both kind of showcasing the where the, where the you know, strong suits are. iPhone 11, for some reason, doing, I guess, the more intensive apps, which these aren't even that intensive. The iPhone XR was able to do those smaller apps faster, which I don't even understand why. Stack, three, two, one. And this is a game that I always have issues with opening. There's always like some weird parameters or something like that. Oh, nope, they're good. I want to say the iPhone 11 opened that one up faster, got into the ad way faster as you guys saw. Maybe that's, I don't even know what happened there, but pretty big difference in terms of that. Temple Run, original one, three, two, one. And look at that difference. I mean, just immediately right off the bat, you can just see how big of a difference that is. And eventually we get into it on the iPhone XR. And I'm not trying to sit here and say the iPhone XR is a slow device at all. The iPhone XR is still very, very fast, but we can see that there is quite a bit of difference between the two, even loading up these basic apps like Temple Run and Snake vs. Blocks and apps like that. So Paper IO2, three, two, one. And even that one, I mean, it just got into it faster. Now, this is a pretty weird game because it's super glitchy on any phone I've ever ran it on. Maybe you guys will be able to tell a difference. Maybe one is less glitchier than the other. Hopefully the iPhone 11 is less glitchier. <laughs> They're almost, almost the same, I would say, in terms of the gameplay. Let's do Snapchat, three, two, one. And even an app like Snapchat, now this is not going to be a life-changing difference, you know, but you will save, you know, a couple of milliseconds here and there. Maybe it'll add up over time. Temple Run 2, three, two, one. And on the iPhone 11, it did download the files faster and actually got into the game. And I think the iPhone 10 are still going to be loading. Yep. So this one's already ready to play on the 11. iPhone 10 is followed, you know, shortly after, but quite a bit of difference still between the two. Let's do Fruit Ninja. Three, two, one. Okay, we did get a little pop-up right here, but I will have to redo both of these because the iPhone 11 was still way ahead of that. Fruit Ninja, three, two, one. And again, the iPhone 11 was the one faster here. So pretty cool. I'm really happy to say that. Now let's end it off with the Real Racing 3, a pretty intensive, I would say, app. Real Racing 3, 3, 2, 1. Oh, and it seems to be almost neck and neck, but I think the 11 is still going to win here. Yep, the iPhone 11 did win, you know, by a little bit too, by like at least like a second. So overall, yes, the iPhone 11 is the faster device. I'll show you guys the benchmark score that I was getting. I mean, it's a pretty big difference. I mean, look at this one we're getting on here, 332,000. On the iPhone 11, 450,000. So if you use Geekbench, you might see a little bit of a different scoring system. But this one on Antutu, this is what I'm getting, which is a pretty crazy difference, I would say. I mean, 
the iPhone 10 is still a very, very, very fast device. Don't think you have to update or anything. This is not a legacy device at all, but this one is a little bit fast.